Hello and welcome to the video and today we'll be talking about and running my new RC four-wheel drive Jalande 2 D90. Now this was a used RC which I got from eBay so the first thing I did was to put a battery in it and take it out into the back garden to see if it ran. Okay so the next thing I did was to change the chrome nuts back to black ones and then it was the obligatory inner fenders. I bought the RC four wheel drive inner fender set for the D90 body and I did the usual cut them out, test fit, paint and then refit to the chassis. Okay so onto the running gear. The motor is an RC four wheel drive 45 turn boost rebuildable motor. The ESE is a Hobbywing 1060 and the servo is a waterproof 15 kilo Savox SW0231. Okay, so onto the body. Now when I got it, it had one of these fuel cans which had been stuck to the back door using double-sided sticky tape. Uh, usually the back door has a bracket on it so you can mount a spare wheel if you want. This had been cut off in the past and when I took the fuel can off, it was just a white hexagon. So I painted it with some black acrylic paint so it wouldn't show so much. One of the things I did after the initial test run was to go around every single screw just to make sure they were tight. When I was doing this, I noticed that the servo horn was this very cheap plastic one, and that was held onto the steering link with a self-tapping screw, which was slightly too long. And as you can see in this picture, it has actually scratched the metal mounting bracket for the servo. So I've replaced all of that with a metal servo horn and some shorter hex bolts. The final thing to do was add a driver. Some of you may recognise this chap from a previous video of my RC four-wheel drive FJ Cruiser and he was the passenger. Now he's a lucky chappy and has been given his own car. Okay, so that's a brief run through of my new D90. So let's take it out for its first run. So this is where I've come for its first run. It's a nice slope with a reasonably steep gradient. And today I'm going to be using the GoPro on the tripod. Yeah. <laughs> 